Oh wow, these things are gorgeous. First, these are crystal ball pythons. Should be the biggest snake you fed, I think. Um, yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Andrea, guess what? What? That's good. Guess what? What? All right, guess what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> we have our first tour at the Reptarium today. That's right. Our first ever tour of the Reptarium starts in about 20 minutes. Are you coming? You don't know. You're the one that booked the tour. <laughs> I don't remember his name. It's his birthday. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, this is going to be absolutely awesome. I'm super excited about it. We have someone coming in. We're going to give a tour. We're going to try to get some excitement with everything. And then we actually have some media stuff. And then who knows what else. So let's go ahead and get ready for this first tour. So they have showed up. And uh, it's actually your birthday. So yeah. that is awesome. Thank you so much for coming to join us. Uh, we're going to do the best we can do to have a, a great time with you. You know, you're going to get a lot of hands on. Ask any questions you want. All right. All right, cool. Let's do it. This is Sunrise here. What do you guys think? She's nice. Is she cool or what? <laughs> Is this the first time you've held a snake yes. this big? No. Yes. No, you've held big snakes before? I've held no, a bit bigger. Held it. Oh, how, how, how big a snake is um, it? Maybe Daisy. Oh, really? Wow, that's big. Oh, that's awesome. You can literally climb right up in there. You're fine. And she loves pets. So just pet her right on the head or on the neck or whatever. See, she just goes up. Yep, you're good. She wants to pet. That's her way of saying pet me. See, she closes her eyes. Now the birthday boy gets a chance to spend some time with Bella. And he actually said that that was the one animal he really wanted to see. There you go. There you go, Bells. Cool. She's nice. Isn't she amazing? Yeah. It's really important for me when people are coming from tours or even just hanging out at the zoo to do things that they haven't normally done and give them an experience that they wouldn't normally get when they say go to a normal zoo. So we are going to actually feed Argus Prime the Argus monitor. You ready for this? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. It's going to be fun. Oh. <laughs> was that cool? Yeah. All right, we'll let him finish that one and we'll give him another one, all right? Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think? Cool. Nice and simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a very gentle animal. The thing that's nice about Tazzy is you can literally feed him and then you can just pet him on the head. Now you don't want to get your fingers close to his, his head now. But you can still pat him. No, he's fine there. He's fine there. So another cool experience. We're going to let you try to feed Daisy. Let's see if she wants to eat. There she, there she goes. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Daisy is kind of a gentle snake, so she's not like one of those lungers, but still you fed us. That's got to be the biggest snake you fed, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good, good. I hope that you enjoyed it. I did. So there it is, in the books, the very first tour. I hope, did you guys enjoy yourself at least? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. They actually drove almost three hours to come here to spend time with me. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. I will always remember you because you're my very first tour. So thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you. Another day in another quick unboxing, got some snakes in. I know a couple of things that are in here and they're absolutely amazing, uh, but to be totally honest with you, I can't remember what else was in here. I had a friend reach out and say, hey, I have some stuff I'd like to send you. Are you interested? I saw the list and I said, of course, go ahead and send it. And then to be honest with you, I kind of forgot what he was gonna send me. Being said, I have no doubt it is gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh, and there's not stuff. Please, next time when you send me stuff, send me stuff to throw over my shoulder. Just doesn't feel the same when I unbox things, when I'm not throwing things around, if you know what I mean. Regardless, let's go ahead and open up the first bag. And what do we have? Oh, right off the rip. This is the ones that I remembered saying that I was gonna get. Oh, doggy, I absolutely love these. And I actually got a bunch of these from him last year too, and I haven't had them ever since. Take a look at these. 
These, of course, are Mystic Potions. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely incredible. And again, a Mystic Potion is actually a Mystic bred to a Mojave. They're a Lelic and they come out with these cool purpley looks. Oh my gosh, last year when we got these on the website, they lasted like two days, so I'm sure the same thing's gonna happen because these crazy monkeys here are absolutely gorgeous. And there's just a couple other bags, and from here, I honestly don't know what else is in here, so uh, let's just take a look and see if I can somehow figure it out. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, all right. I do remember now. There's a few little clown ball pythons. I think four or five of these guys. And here's another one right here. Wow, these things are absolutely gorgeous. I love clown ball pythons. And the rest of these are actually just heterozygous for clowns. And then the last bag. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if I can remember. Honestly, this one I have no recollection of at all. So let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, these things are gorgeous. First, these are crystal ball pythons, and it looks like some pastel specials in here, too. So there's a good chance that some of these crystals are actually pastel crystal, because one of the parents was obviously a pastel. Now, the crystal is much like the Mystic Potion, where it's Mystic bred to Mojave. In this case, it's something that's called Special bred to Mojave that produces the crystal ball python. And you can see this one here is definitely a pastel crystal, because it's got that kind of more faded look to it. And to be honest with you, you, all three of these look like they're pastel crystals. Wow, these things are incredible. And then it looks like there's a couple pastel specials in here. Oh my gosh, these things are incredible. Again, I actually don't remember even talking about the crystal stuff, but it's cool because crystal ball pythons are absolutely amazing and just super, super popular. So there you have it, guys. The quick unboxing of snakes for the day. Just for the record, people, if Lori's got a black eye, <laughs> Noah punched her. That's and it was a horrible thing. I, I swear to gosh, it wasn't me. Well, the truth of the matter is anybody who knows anything about us knows that neither one of those things are true because if that happened you would both be in way better shape than me <laughs> that's true she, she would she would kill us if we ever phoebe has a cut on her oh paw God. and she was licking it so as i was trying to do it she whipped her head back and oh caught gosh, me it's so bad. yeah yeah her oh bone right God. on my eye bone right there it hurts Holy really bad cow. so this weekend when you come into the <laughs> reptarium lori might have a black eye i'm not 100 sure super busy day today I had the tour earlier, then I did some media stuff for a place called M Live, and now I'm trying to get some rock on the racks over here with Noah, and then I actually have to go to a meeting in the city about some signage, and then uh, then I actually have a few other things going on. But anyways, a lots to do. I'm gonna do the best I can do to at least get some of this rock done. So the whole idea is to hopefully have this piece and somehow seam this with this piece around to the edge, and then we're gonna actually do like a wood piece on the end. So right now we're just trying to cover the side. Uh, we cut a piece, I hope it's gonna be all right. Uh, the thing that's nice about this is you can piece it together kind of, but uh, you do need a good base, so hopefully this base will work. Let's see how it goes. And so that basically is how you do the actual like kind of marrying stuff together. So I want it to be kind of out here, it kind of comes up here, and it feels like there's one flowing rock that comes from all the way here, all the way through this side. So I uh, just got to seam this up a little bit, and then we of course come back and we'll do some foam work, we'll do some caulking and some pigment touch up, so, uh, but all in all, uh, looking good in the first corner. So as I'm sure all of you know, Brian is quite the visionary, and there's no surprise that with the Reptarium, he keeps adding to the vision. Like, let's have a movie night, Lori. So what does that entail? Okay, Lori, you need to find 20 plus beanbag chairs. So what did I do? I found the bean bag. A lot of bean bags, but I got the ones that need to be blown up because I don't have room for 20 regular bean bags all the time. So that's what my night is gonna compose of is trying to blow up 20 bean bags. So this should be pretty fun. We'll see. I'm not gonna lie, I have blown up a couple of these bean bags. It takes a little while and it is very tiring. So I think I have an idea that I'm going to sit in the bean bag chair while I blow up the bean bag chairs. Hopefully that will be much more comfortable for me. We'll see. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exactly, well, about halfway done. This pile feels like it will never end, and this pile feels like it will never stop growing. I don't know what Brian was thinking, 
or how he thinks all of these bean bags are gonna fit here once they're blown up. If I never see another bean bag again, I will be okay because I'm really, really sick of this right now. All I really want is ice cream. I'm gonna finish first, but then I'm gonna get my ice cream. So I gotta get back at it. Just back from my meeting and it appears that Lori is making some progress with the bean bags. Uh, I'm a little concerned about where these are gonna fit, Lori. What do you think? I don't know. I think a few people might be floating in the pond. <laughs> I, that's a lot of bean bags. And, and so the idea is, is we're gonna close tomorrow at nine o'clock. We're gonna bring these bean bags out. Uh, set them up all over here, over there, over here, over here, and we're gonna have a little pizza party, watch a movie. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the spacing here because uh, that's these are big bean bags. You should have bought smaller bean bags. Or not. Remember last night when Jessica was actually redoing the Dart Frogs tanks? Well, this is what she ended up coming up with. We're gonna have to put a little bit more moss so that that water falls a little bit better. But overall, it looks absolutely incredible. Now we have leaf litter. Look at that little dude right here. He's loving life. And now this is a bioactive setup. We've already released all of the cleaner bugs in here. You can kind of see a few of them floating around here and there. So theoretically, once you do a bioactive, once those bugs actually start to culture, pretty much you don't have to clean it because they'll actually break down all of the waste, which I think is amazing. So these are the first bioactive cages that are going in the Reptarium. We certainly are gonna put a lot more in as we get used to it and kind of figure the whole system out. But I wanted to share with you this beautiful cage that Jessica did. And another late night all alone at the Reptarium working so hard. But again, it's like I continue to tell you guys, you've gotta work hard to fulfill your dreams. So that's about sacrifice. Yeah, every single day I start at six in the morning and every night I might get home at 11 or 12 o'clock at night, but it's awesome and we are on the eve of what hopefully will be a successful weekend a bunch of things going on so I cannot thank you guys for the people that are planning on making a trip or visiting have visited and want to visit again uh, I am working on this last rack of cages here will it be open for the weekend probably not but by next week we'll definitely have it dialed in basically I've started to rock this side I still have to rock the fronts but I'm gonna run all of the electric and the lighting first just because it makes it easier with this particular rack there's no behind so it makes it a little bit more difficult I actually have to pull the tank out to get to the electric which is a pain in the butt but there's nothing else I can do about it right now so it's gonna have to work here I am just kind of working away but you know what I'm happy because I love it I cannot tell you how much I love being at the Reptarium You know, there's a saying that says, how do you eat an elephant? And it's one bite at a time. So every little project really does make a difference. Is it a huge thing, putting lights in and stuff like that? No, not really. But that's one thing that you have to do to get to the finished goals. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and rock out the fronts of these, put some wood on the side of them. And hopefully with any luck, by the time we open up tomorrow to the public, at least these will look good. Will animals be in them? Doubtful. But at least they're gonna start looking like the rest of the zoo, which is just absolutely awesome. Again, now you're starting to see a little bit more of that flow that's going to happen from these racks over to the gator tank and then around to the rest of the zoo. Again, it's just one step closer to kind of that finished product. Don't get me wrong, we're going to continue to keep upgrading and working on enclosures and changing things around, but we are getting closer to what I feel is what I would say is a finished product or at least finished from the standpoint that people won't notice all the things that we're still gonna do in the future. And as I'm spending a little bit of time with my boy Taz, what I'm really meaning is that we're gonna go back and really fixture out some other cages, just with things like water features. Again, like I mentioned, bioactive soils and all kinds of different stuff. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking, and I need your guys' help in the comments, let me know what you think. I was thinking about maybe having one of you guys come in and design a cage, you know, so you could pick a cage and you could do whatever you want with it. We'll supply all the materials and then you guys make it and you're kind of signature cage let me know if you like it number one put down in the comments which cage would you like to work on what would you do with it and then maybe in the next week or two I'll actually announce the contest and uh, we'll see what we can do from there but in the meantime I really would like to know is that something that you guys would be into and like I mentioned by far my favorite time at the reptarium is that night when I could just spend time with my animals look around I mean it is really amazing and speaking of being able to look around at night tomorrow is our first movie night here I have no idea how it's gonna go we have have 22 people
people coming, some of the crew are going to be hanging out, and we are just going to be watching Jurassic World at night at the Reptarium. The lights will be out. I'll allow people to mess with animals. We'll be sitting around on those blow up bean bags, just kind of chilling out with some cool animals. I hope it's going to be an absolutely amazing time. And you guys have heard that I'm going to be doing all kinds of these types of events, from costume parties for Halloween to handling to the Irwin Family Animal Planet show. We're going to have a premiere here. We'll release tickets for that. I'd like to know from you guys, what other events would you guys like me to do one night or maybe even on an off day? I mean, if there's something you guys are thinking like, this would be so cool to do at the Reptarium, let me know. I want your ideas. I want this to be the most interactive, fun place anyone could ever imagine. I don't want it to be a place where you come one time and then you don't need to come back. I want to continue to give you reasons to come back weekend after weekend, if at all possible. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Oh, and I don't know if I told you guys, but Verde ate the other day. That's right. It was still a live chicken, unfortunately, but uh, she at least ate at the Reptarium for the first time. So that's absolutely awesome. And Lucy's cage just drained her pond about ready to fill it up. She is still not shed yet. She's still hanging out over here. She has to shed tonight. Every night I leave, I think she's going to shed tonight. Remember, I'm going to try to feed her tomorrow. But to be honest with you, you can see she's in that clear phase right now. And she's looking absolutely gorgeous, even though she hasn't shed. So there's no way that she's not going to shed tonight. Or at least I hope she's going to shed tonight. But either way, I think she's going to eat tomorrow. Again, this will be the first time that we fed a big snake during public hours. So uh, wish me luck. And I am finally home. And I am going to go ahead and end the vlog and get ready for a long day tomorrow. I have to be back at the Reptarium at 6 a.m. for some new spots. We have the open of the Reptarium in the afternoon. And then we have a movie night. So I am going to be at the Reptarium till probably like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. So it's definitely going to be a 20 or so hour day at the Reptarium. But I absolutely am excited about how this movie night's going to go, as well as seeing all of your beautiful faces that come visit me tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely incredible. As for now, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. By the way, I'll be doing that virtual tour of the zoo here relatively soon, so stay tuned, all right? As for now, do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below because I love reading about you guys. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.